In the previous video, I featured all the ant colonies that died. And in this video, I'm gonna feature all the ant colonies that I still have. And I actually have some new additions. So make sure to watch until the end. I don't know what's the name of this species, but if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. They are a very small species, just 2 mm long, and it, yep, there's a springtail next to it. It is almost as big as a springtail. I found this colony in my trap jaw and setup and they were nesting inside the soil. So I gathered them, and this is just a part of them. I keep them out of curiosity, I'm not sure whether will they succeed, and it seems like they grow quite well until 2 weeks ago. I noticed that there's no more worker, no more eggs, and then just left 1 or 2 workers left. So this colony is gone. Next is my Crematogaster species. This colony has been doing very well and so well that they can cross my powder barrier now. They put all the broods in the test tube while most of the workers hang out at this corridor. And yep, that's the queen. This is my original Marano Plus bicolor. In last week, two colonies died, but this is my main colony. And you can see that this colony is not very big. I've been feeding them constantly, but they seem to produce more elites instead of workers. Just look at last time how active they are in the outworld, but now they are less active. But they are still growing very well. This is my yellow crazy ants colony. I've been constantly changing different setups for them and trying to find the best setup. And yeah, they kind of escaped and I got them back. From 6 queen colony becomes a 2 queen colony. Until I put them into this setup and it seems like this setup works very well. I just put two empty test tubes with moist sphagnum moss. And they seem to hit high humidity. So they kind of chew out all those sphagnum moss and leave it in the outworld and let it dry. Yep, that's the two queens. But that was two months ago. Look at this colony right now. Yes, they have exploded. They fill up the entire outworld and they even bring their brood out at the outworld. I'm not sure why they don't want to put it into the test tube though. But, well, they probably need a new expansion. And that's what I'm gonna do for them in a future video. Okay, next is my Polyrachis divas colony, which is also my biggest ant colony. 
So they have been doing so well, so well until escape is something very common. The reason they escape is because the plants have grown in the terrarium and I'm not around to trim it, so they escape. And yep, this terrarium is now empty. Yep, they escape. So I leave some chop up roaches to lure them because I still see some workers around and I follow the trail until I found where they are nesting in. Yep, they are nesting in between my egg crates. These egg crates are for my dubia roach and they weave sphagnum moss all around it. Ready? One, two, three. Man, oh, they're all in there. Okay, so that's basically how I got the colony back. So if you're amazed with this, hit the subscribe button, okay? This is a colony of black sugar ants, Camponodos arivatris. I have two colonies of this, and they have been growing very well. One is in a tub and tube setup, while another in this AAC formicarium. In the past, I have a colony of them, which grew until very big. So if you want to know how big they were, click here to watch this video. Okay, so this is the new ant that I got. During Chinese New Year, my brother caught a queen and I put the queen into this soil test tube setup. And do you wanna guess what ant is this? Yep, it is a mini trap jaw. After a month, I saw a lot of larva, pupa, and two weeks ago, yep, that is another thing. And actually, there are more of them. Just look at this worker foraging. It's so cute. Alright, so this is also a new ant colony which is Fidole Parva. It is an OG ant species in my channel because Fidole Parva is actually the second ant species that I kept since I started three years ago. I sold off my previous colony and then I found this colony in the Eden Vivarium. So I cut them out and give them a proper setup. I will explain about this colony more in depth in the following video. Alright guys, so you have come to the very end of this video. So if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to share it to your friend. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon on. Until I see you next time. Bye! Where do you think you're going? Huh? You're not going anywhere, you're coming back. <laughs>